Hello dear students, this session is regarding unbalanced three-way stack connected load. Uh, and in the last video also we have discussed about three-wire stack connected unbalanced load. And these are the features of three-way stack connected unbalanced load. And now we are going to uh, look into the solution of such type of loads. Uh, here we are going to solve uh, circuits three phase three where star connected unbalanced load using Kutcher's voltage law and mesh analysis. So let's consider a circuit like this. Here the phases R, Y and B are there and mesh currents I1 and I2 are made. Two measures are considered and current through that meshes are marked as I1 and I2. Now we are going to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to both these meshes. So when apply KVL to mesh 1, KVL to mesh 1, we will get the equation like this. VRB minus I1 is at R minus I1 minus I2 into Z B equal to 0. Rearranging the terms, the equation will be VRB equal to I1 is at R. plus I1 minus I2 is at B. Or we will get the equation as VRB equal to ZR plus ZB into I1 minus ZB into I2. This equation is marked as equation number 1. Now applying KVL to mesh 2. So we will get the mesh equation like VBY minus ZB into I2 minus I1 minus ZY I2 equals 0. Rearranging the terms, then we will get the equation as VBY equal to minus ZB into I1 plus ZY plus ZB into I2. This is our equation number 2. Now let's write these two equations in matrix form. If we write the two equations we got in matrix form, the matrix will be like this. ZR plus ZB. Then minus ZB. Here minus ZB. Then ZY plus ZB. Into I1, I2 equals VRB, VBY. Now, by solving this, we will get the values for I1 and I2. By Kramer's rule, we will get I1 equal to delta 1 by delta and I2 equal to delta 2 by delta. Where delta is determinant of this impedance matrix and delta 1 is the uh, determinant of the matrix where first column is replaced by the voltage matrix and delta 2 is the determinant of a matrix whose second column is replaced by the voltage matrix. Now from the circuit we can 
rate the currents IR. The line currents are IR, IY and IB. Now from the circuit it is clear that line current IR is exactly same as I1. And line current IY is negative of I2. And line current IB is from this circuit we can write IB is equal to I2 minus I1. Thus we will get the values for all the line currents also. Now let's move to a problem. A 400 volt three phase supply feeds an unbalanced three way star connected load. Branch impedances are given. Find the line currents and voltage across each phase impedance. Phase sequence is given as RYB. Then we have to calculate VOO dash. That means we have to calculate the neutral shift voltage also. So first step is to draw the diagram as per the given question. The diagram as per the given parameters is drawn and the line currents IR, IY and IB are also marked. Now we have to analyze the circuit. For that two meshes are identified and the mesh currents I1 for the mesh 1 and mesh current I2 for loop 2 is marked like this. Now let's write the mesh equation. So from mesh 1 we can write B R B equal to 4 plus J 8 I1 plus 15 plus J20 I1 minus I2. That is equal to VRB equals 4 plus J8 plus Fifteen plus J twenty into I one minus fifteen plus J twenty into I two. So the equation is V R B equals nineteen plus J twenty eight I one minus 15 plus J 20 I 2. Here in the question, the phase sequence is given as RYB. So, the current voltages VRY, line voltages VRY, VYB, VBR are taken like this. V angle 0, V angle minus 120, V angle minus 240. Here the required voltage is VRB. We know VBR. So VRB will be equal to minus 1 into VBR which is equal to minus 1 into here V is given as 400 angle minus 240 which is equal to 400 angle minus 60. So we can write 400 angle minus 60 equal to 19 plus J 28 I 1 minus 15 plus J20 I2. This is equation number 1. Now apply KVL to mesh 2. 
while applying KVL to mesh 2, the equation will be VBY equals 15 plus J20 into I2 minus I1 plus 3 plus J4 I2. Rearranging the terms, it will be VBY equals 18 uh, sorry my Min minus of 15 plus j20 i1 plus 18 plus j24 i2 Here also the required voltage is VBY. Here in the equation we are having the term for VBY. But here VYB is V angle minus 120. The required one is VBY. So VBY is minus 1 into VYB. That is equal to minus 1 into V angle minus 120 that is equal to minus 1 into 400 angle minus 120 that is equal to 400 angle 60. So VBY is 400 angle 60. So it is 460 equal to minus of 15 plus J20 I1 plus 18 plus J24 I2. This is our equation number 2. Now we can write the two equations in matrix form. This is the equation written in matrix form. Now we can calculate the values for I1 and I2. I1 is delta 1 by delta, which is equal to delta 1 determinant of replace the first column with the voltage divided by the impedance matrix, determinant of the impedance matrix, same one, 19 plus J. So, I1 will be get like this, 28.41 angle minus 69.11 degree amperes. Now, we have to find out the value of I2. I2 is delta 2 by delta. Delta 2, now to get delta 2, replace the second column with the voltage matrix. Divided by denominator, we already found it as 391.95, 113.2. 29, which is equal to 29.85 angle minus 43.43 degree amperes. Now we have to find out the line currents IR, IY and IB. From the circuit itself, we can write IR is equal to I1. And we got the value for I1. It is 28.41 angle minus 69.11. Then IY. From the diagram, it is clear that IY is minus I2. It is minus 1 into 29.85 angle minus 43.43. .43. Is equal to 29.85 angle 136.57 degrees. This much amperes. IB is I2 minus I1. That also we got from the diagram. So take the difference between I2 and I1. Finally, we will get it as 254. Angle 
minus 5.67 degree angle. So, we got the line currents also. Then we have to find out voltage drop across each impedance. In order to get voltage drop across impedance is at R, which is V R O dash. This point is O dash. That voltage is I R into is at R. Multiply them, we have both the values. After multiplication, it will be 254 angle. 5 point minus 5 point 6 7 degree volt sorry there is a change in ib ib is not like this it was wrong when you take the difference between i2 and i1 we will get it i b as 13.02 angle 27.54 this much amperes. Okay, then find V Y O dash I Y Z Y V B O dash I B Z B values for V Y O dash and V B O dash are like this. Now we have to find out the neutral shift voltage V O O dash. V O O dash. V O O dash is the difference between V R O and V R O dash. This is equal to V R O. Magnitude of V R O is which is the phase voltage. Line to neutral voltage. So it is 400 divided by root 3. With a phase angle, we have to write the phase angle there. Minus VRO. We got VRO as 254 angle minus 5.67. Now, in order to get the phase angle for VRO, we have to consider the phase diagram. We have taken VRY as the reference r y is taken as reference and the phase sequence is r y b so now to keep phase difference as r y b b should be here so the voltage voltage phases will be like this and the neutral of the supply will be at center now v r o this is the phase v r o which makes an angle 30 degree with x axis so this angle is minus 30 that is equal to finally we will get the value 104.64 angle to 39.73 degree volt. So, the supply neutral is O. The voltages will be like this. But due to unbalance in the uh, load, the O load neutral will shift. Load neutral is O dash, which is not X at exact potential with O, it will shift to somewhere like this. This is the point O dash. And voltage between O and O dash is the neutral shift voltage V O O dash. And we got that value as 104.64 at an angle 239.73 degree. Okay, thank you.